This video is going to talk you through the time interval problem and we will look at analog versus military time in order to understand how to do this. The original assignment problem is stated here that the driver should read from the council two military format times, a start time and an end time, and it will also read in an hourly pay. So first of all, when we're trying to figure out this problem, it is very beneficial to actually work out several problems by hand. I'm going to show you one, maybe two examples, and then hopefully you can pick it up from there. So this first example right here is just showing what we would probably normally do if we were to calculate how many hours and how many minutes if we were given a start time of 8.30 a.m and an end time of 1450 in military time. In military time, 1450 is two o'clock and 50 minutes. And we would probably think through the problem something like this, where if I go calculate from 830 to noon, that's gonna be three hours and 30 minutes, and then two hours and 50 minutes from uh, 2 p.m. to 50 minutes. So then you just add those together. When you add, the three hours, 30 minutes, and two hours, 50 minutes, you're going to get five hours, 80 minutes. We know that we can't have 80 minutes over here in the minutes if we're going to calculate hours and minutes, so we would convert. We would take 60 minutes from 80, add it to the hours, and end up with six hours, 20 minutes. So this is how our thinking would go now if we're looking at analog time. If we were to consider that in military time, it actually becomes a little bit easier because in military time, you can so just subtract the 1450 and the 830, the ending time, minus the starting time, and you end up with 620. Well, that's our 6 hours, 20 minutes, which is what we got as a result up here. However, we need to then be able to convert six to zero to actually hours and minutes. And we would do that using integer and modulus division in programming. So in order to do the integer and modulus division, we would take 620, that should be a 620 there, divided by 100, that gives us our six hours. And we would take 620 modulus 100, and that would give us our 20 minutes. This is a little bit counterintuitive because when we think of hours and minutes, we like to think 60 minutes, but with military time, you would need to divide by the 100 using integer and modulus division. Remember that integer division gives you the quotient, modulus division gives you the remainder. So if we were doing long division, it would look like this. In order to calculate the pay, that's a little bit trickier here. You would actually then have to convert back and take six hours, and then you'd have to take 20 minutes out of 60 minutes to get a decimal, 6.333 repeating, and then you could take that decimal times your hourly rate. We will talk or address this again with the next example. Our next example, so this will be example two, is going to consider when the start time 14 excuse me the end time the 1450 15 is less than the start time and we have to consider borrowing so here is the second example if this is a scenario so I'm starting at 8:30 a.m. again and then I'm going to go to 1415 in this case our end result over here I calculated should be 5 hours and 45 minutes so that we can just know what where our result should end up to be. But when I borrow, if I borrow like we would normally would um, and borrow from the tens and add a 1, etc., that's not going to work because we are actually borrowing from hours. And when you need to borrow from hours, you have to convert it to 60 minutes. So instead of borrowing here, or when you borrow here, you get 13 hours, you add 60 to the 15, and you end up with 75 minutes. 
If you subtract, you end up with your 5 hours, 45 minutes, which is what our result was supposed to be. So that would be good. However, teaching the computer when you're borrowing to add 60 rather than working in a base 10 up here, um, it, it is much easier to actually just convert everything to minutes and subtract minutes. Because this process right here would be its own little scenario. Now you could teach the computer to do that if you wanted to. If you have the 1475 when the numerator actually started as 1415, when 15 was less than 30, you would then have to teach the computer that when you borrow, you have to add 60. That would be one way to solve the problem, but I'm not going to address it that way. I think it is just easier to subtract minutes, so we're going to convert everything to minutes. So in order to convert everything to minutes, we're going to have to do the following. To convert 0830 to minutes, you have to take 8 hours times 60 minutes, add the 30 minutes, and you get 510 minutes. To convert 1415 to all minutes, it's 14 hours times 60 for the hours to minutes, plus 15 minutes. So you get 840 plus 15 is 855. Then we can just subtract the minutes. We take the end time, which is 855, minus the start time, which is 510 minutes, and we get 345 minutes. We do have to convert minutes then back to hours and minutes, and we can do that with modulus and integer division again. We'll do integer division first, so we get our hours are 5. And if we do modulus division with 345, 345 modulus 60 is 45, and we end up again with our 5 hours and 45 minutes. So solving the problem this way will actually address when the numerator, the 15 minutes, is smaller than the denominator, which expands on the original problem. Lastly, if I want to calculate the pay rate here, I would take the 345 and divide it by 60 using regular division which means I could do 345.0 divided by 60, and that would be my 5.75. And then to calculate the pay, you could take 5.75, which would be your result from that calculation, times your pay rate, and that would equal what you're going to get paid. However, when you're working with all of these numbers up here, the 345 and the 60, those are actually integer values stored in the computer. So if you try to do this within your code, it's not going to work because it's going to try to do, or it's going to actually just revert back to your integer division and give you 5. Therefore, that's where casting comes in. In code, you're going to have to cast that variable as a double. What that does is it temporarily converts 345 to 345.0, which is a double, and then you divide it by 60 and you will get your 5.75. So you're going to have to use casting in order to convert the integer to a decimal. That will give you then the 575, which you can take times the pay rate. That sets up the scenario. It does no coding, but that should give you an overview of the entire problem and how to convert your military time to minutes, and then you subtract the minutes. You convert those result of those minutes back to hours and minutes using division by 60, which we're used to in analog time. And then you'll have to use a cast to convert that integer variable to a double in order to calculate your pay rate um, 5.75 as a decimal.